What's going on guys, Alex here. Welcome back to another video. Now today I'm gonna to talk about eight amazing Samsung Galaxy features that I think everybody should enable on their phone. Now let's not waste any time and get right into the first one, which is to identify unknown trackers, which is definitely a really good one, especially these days because of all the car theft going around. A lot of people are just putting air tags on people's belongings and then coming around to steal their stuff later. And this feature will help you identify if there are any unknown trackers around you and help you stay alert. Now to enable this feature, what we're gonna do is go into our phone settings, swipe down to safety and emergency. And right there at the bottom, you'll see it says unknown tracker alerts. Tap into here and just make sure to enable this feature. Now I actually went traveling last month to British Columbia and on my way back, I took my parents' luggage because they didn't have room in their car. And they had an AirTag in their luggage that I didn't know about. And my phone actually gave me an alert that it identified a tracker. So I took a screenshot of that. And to show you, you can see this is what it looked like. I got a notification on my phone and it said tracker traveling with you. Unknown Apple AirTag detected. The owner of this tracker can see its location. So this feature really does work. You should definitely go ahead and enable this. This is definitely a really good feature just to keep you safe and alert. And if your phone does identify any of these trackers, you should definitely know about it and be able to take some action. All right, guys, the next thing we're gonna do is password protect the shutdown of our phone. Because if anybody ever steals your phone, the very first thing they're gonna try to do is shut it down so that you can no longer track it. But you can actually password protect the shutdown of your phone so they will not be able to shut it down and you can go ahead and GPS track your phone or lock it or remotely erase it if you need to. So to do this, you're gonna wanna go into your phone settings, go to lock screen and always on display, tap secure lock settings. And right there you can see it says local network and security and yours is going to be off by default, but when you enable this, your phone is now going to ask for a password when anybody tries to shut it down from the lock screen. So to show you, if I go to my lock screen, let's say somebody tries to steal my phone and they want to shut it down so I cannot track it, they're gonna go to hit power off. And then when they try to power it off, you can see that they need to authenticate with my fingerprint or put in my pattern in order to lock my phone. They will not be able to disconnect my phone from the network. And of course, the same happens if they try to disconnect from the Wi-Fi, you can see they have to authenticate. So this way they will not be able to steal your phone and shut it down and you can go ahead and track it from the Samsung Find My application. Or if you need to, you can completely wipe out all of the data off your phone so that nobody can steal your data. Now this next setting has recently become one of my favorite features of the Galaxy phone, something I've never really used before, even though it's been around for a long time, and it is highly underrated. And it is the ability to create collages and videos out of your photos. And to create these videos, it's super simple. All you need to do is just go into your gallery on your phone, select whichever photos that you want to create a movie out of, and when you select a few, you can see we get this create button down here and we can create a collage out of them or a movie. So we can do movie and you can see it'll put them all together in this little timeline right here. And you can go through here and edit these however you want. You can make them longer or shorter. And you can even hit on these little transitions here and select what kind of transition you want between any of these clips just to make it a little bit nicer. There's also this music button right here. If you wanna add some background music, you can select a few soundtracks or if you have any music on your own phone, you can do that. And if we go to soundtracks, you can see we have a whole bunch of categories right here, funny, happy, lounge, and you can just go through here and select whichever track you want for the background of your video. And then when you hit done, it'll add that track to your video. And just like that, in a matter of just a few minutes, you pretty much were able to create a nice little video with some of your favorite memories and then you can go up here, hit done and then save the movie. And now in the future, you can always come back, play this video and view some of your favorite memories from any of your trips. Now, when it comes to charging your phone, the Galaxy phone is capable of 45 watt fast charging, but a lot of people might not realize that they're not actually getting those speeds. And there's a really easy way to tell if you have an appropriate charger that's able to deliver the wattage in order to fast charge your phone. And the way to tell is when you plug your phone in to charge, you'll get this little uh, animation right here. And you can see it says fast charging and it looks like kind of a green color charge. So that means that you're fast charging. You're not actually super fast charging. But if you plug this into an appropriate charger that's actually able to deliver the wattage in order to super fast charge your phone, when you plug it in, you'll see that it says super fast charging and we get a blue charging icon over here. So now you're getting the fastest possible charge speeds in order to charge your phone as fast as possible. So if you're not getting that blue animation and it doesn't say super fast charging, you're not getting the best charging speeds. It is going to take longer to charge your phone. So go ahead and just check your charging brick for the wattage. You wanna make sure that it's able to deliver at least 45 watts in order to charge your phone as fast as possible. 
Now, if you're somebody who records a lot of videos and you want to have music in the background of those videos from your phone, or maybe you just want to listen to music while you're recording yourself, maybe you're working out or working on something and you want to listen to music while you're recording, there's a really easy way to do that. Now, what you might be doing is maybe playing a song and then when you go into your camera and then start recording, it will actually stop playing that song in the background. But all you really need to do is just swipe down while the video is already recording and then just hit play again on your player and now the song will play while you're recording video. So anytime you come back to watch that video, you can have music in that video that you're playing on your phone or if you just want music in the background while you're recording yourself doing something, it will now play music out of your phone while you're recording that video. This is actually something a lot of people ask me quite often. So if you're looking for a way to play music while you're recording, that's how you do it. Nice and easy. Now this next one is also camera related. If you find that when you're shooting a video and you're in the main lens, which is the best lens, especially for night photography or night video, and you find that maybe it's a little bit too cropped in and you're having to switch to the ultra wide, what you're gonna notice is that the quality will go down a little bit because the ultra wide lens is not as good or sharp as the main lens, especially again in those low light scenarios. So if you want the best quality, you're gonna wanna stay in the main lens. But again, if it's too cropped in, there's actually a setting that you can change to give you a little bit of a wider field of view while still staying in that main lens. And what you're gonna wanna do is go into your camera settings and then go down to video stabilization and disable this setting. So what video stabilization does is obviously stabilize your video. But the problem with that is it has to crop in a little bit on your image in order to stabilize it. But if you're using a tripod or just standing still hand holding your phone, the built in OIS on the lenses provides enough stabilization that you're going to get smooth footage, even with video stabilization disabled. So again, if you feel like it's a little bit too cropped in, but you don't want to use the ultra wide lens, go ahead and disable video stabilization. And of course, in the future, if you ever need it again, you can just go ahead and enable it again. All right, guys, so you know how sometimes when you're searching for something online, maybe you are searching for a new bike or something you want to buy or a gift for your significant other. But then after that, everywhere you go, you start getting served ads about that specific thing. Well, if you don't want to see those ads or maybe you don't want your partner to get a suspicion that you're looking at some kind of gift that you're looking to buy them, you can delete the advertising ID on your phone so that your phone will not show you any of the things that you've recently researched about. And to do that, we're gonna go into our phone settings, scroll down to security and privacy, go to more privacy settings, tap ads. And right there you can see it says reset advertising ID and delete advertising ID. So if you wanna delete it and stop seeing all those ads, just tap on that, hit delete advertising ID. And just like that, it's done. Your phone is no longer gonna serve you those ads unless you go searching for certain items again. And then it refreshes and gives you a new advertising ID. And then you'll start getting ads for those things. But if you wanna delete it, that's how you do it. All right, guys, now for this last feature, I bet a lot of you had no idea that you were able to do this, but you are able to record your face on your selfie camera when you're taking a screen recording on your phone. So if you're recording something on your screen and you want to talk at the same time and have your face get recorded so you can send it to your grandma or family or whoever you want, you can easily do that. And all you need to do is just go ahead and start your recording. You'll get your countdown. And once that countdown is over up here, you'll get a tooltip of some of the things that you can do. And you can see right there, there's a little icon of a person. And if you tap on it, you can see it opens up your selfie camera. And now anything you record on the screen of your phone, you can see that your camera bubble right there is going to record your selfie camera as well. So you can be talking to your phone while recording your screen and it'll capture all that in the same screen recording. And now if we go to that screen recording we just took, you can see that the selfie camera is right there and it is recording my face while I'm taking a recording of the screen of my phone. But there you go, guys. That's gonna do it for this video of some of the awesome Galaxy tips and tricks that I think everybody should enable. Hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.